about it all morning long, that Louisiana oil spill. Now, you've gotten to look at an option to actually clean up part of the mess. Tell us about it. This all started on Facebook over the weekend with people saying, what about these super absorbents? And you and I haven't worked together, so I thought I'd bring it in real fast. So uh, here's the cup, ready? And we've talked about super absorbents. This is a powder that's a super absorbent, and you'll see exactly what it is here in a second. Watch when the water goes in. Three, two, one. It's done. Turn it upside down. Is that amazing? That is amazing. <laughs> so that's a super, you can put it over your head. It's okay. No, yeah. <laughs> I know you don't trust. Neither does Becky. This is a super absorbent. This is the absorbent found in diapers. Wow. So using this kind of technology, could you do the same thing with oil? And the answer is yes. And so here's the recreation here. So here's the water. There is a problem though with our oil spill in the Gulf and that is the experts say that it's just too big right now to be able to use this type of containment. But here is, uh, we're going to use similar chemistry. So this uh, Marvel Mystery oil, I okay. guess you add to an engine, is very, very similar in composition to crude oil. And then this is the polymer, so this is the super absorbent. It's actually an adsorbent, which means that it hooks onto it and it, 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 it adsorbs in a kind of a one-to-one -one ratio. So can you see what it's doing to it right now? It literally is solidifying it. And if we waited here about two, three minutes, it would completely solidify. I started this one right before we went on. So here, pull that one out, Amelia. I can just go ahead and touch it? I'm serious. Oh, Take wow. it out. Is that amazing? Oh my gosh, this is oil. So there's a way to be able to solidify the oil and believe it or not, bring this back on land, burn it, and there's a BTU rating. Wow. The experts are telling us now, however, that this is just too big of a spill. So they're having to put these in socks, these boons, and trying to trap it around there. And they're not using it for the big spill. I always thought, why don't you just take a big, huge plane and just dump a ton? But they said it would be an environmental disaster. Right. So as it's starting to wash up on shore, what they're doing is they're taking these boons. Oh, look at that. See? We just poured it and we're enough. Wow. Wow. Is that absolutely amazing. And I know you can't feel this. It feels like a sponge and it's, yeah. it's almost completely solid. So they can they can encapsulate it. The problem is it's just too big. So in these socks, they're being able to absorb it and then be able to pull it off. But it's just coming at too fast of a rate. But the technology is there and in some small scale spills, it's actually happening. And it all started on Facebook. So we're posting some more information. I've asked some of the people who I'm in contact with to kind of help us on Facebook as well. So. Wow. And what's the link? How can we find that on your Facebook page? Uh, Facebook.com slash Steve Spangler is that. Is that page, but I'm going to put all the experiment up on the nine news. Places. I like that.